All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about reflections. And just to start out with some definitions, it said a reflection is a transformation that will flip a figure over a given line. Now, that given line also has a name, and this line is going to be called your line of reflection. Now, with these two things, let's jump into the example one. And example one says that triangle ABC is being reflected over the x-axis. It says draw and label the image for A prime, B prime, and C prime. So in that question, it actually mentioned something that was very important. And it mentioned that we're going to be reflected over the x-axis. So because we're going to be reflecting over the x-axis, what we're going to do is we're either going to take our pencil or whatever we have, and we're going to make the x-axis, because we know the x-axis is the one that goes left and right. We're going to make that stand out just a little bit. And when we make that stand out, what we have to remember or what we have to now learn is that when we do a reflection, it must be an equal distance on both sides of my line of reflection. So let's write that down. So it must have... an equal distance on both sides of my line of reflection. Okay, so if we do exactly what we just said, and I start with point A for my figure, so what I'm going to do is take point A and count the distance from point, that point to my line of reflection. And once I find that, I count the same amount of distance on the opposite side. So let's see how far it is. So we got one, two, three units away from my line of reflection. So on the opposite side, I'm going to count three away. So that means A prime is here. All right, so let's look at point B. Point B is actually on my line of reflection. Because it's on my line of reflection, that means I really don't have to move it. So it's actually zero away from my line of reflection, so I don't have to move that at all. Point C, let's see how far point C is from my line of reflection. So here we have two units away. So I'm going to count two units on the opposite side. And put my dot. And that's going to give me my new C prime. Now we're going to take and connect our points let's see what this figure actually look like it looks exactly the same but just flipped over so let's get our new order pairs for that actual point so now the order pairs okay so we move from a b triangle a b c to a prime b prime and c prime so point a is actually at positive one negative three so it's at one negative three but when it moved it actually moved from one negative three to one positive three point b is at three zero and because it was touching the line of reflection it stayed at three zero all right and point c was at four negative two and when we reflected it, it reflected over the x-axis, and now it becomes four positive two. So just looking at the points, and after it was, re was reflected, so when we reflect over the x-axis, we should notice that from my original point, which is like one negative three, it became one positive three. So what happened was that when we reflect over the x-axis, the sign of the y value changes. So that's our rule. So we'll take our original point, and with our original point, we'll take keep x the same, and then we'll make a change to my y value. So let's make that notation. We're going to keep the same. And then here we'll change the sign. All right, so that was for a reflection over the x-axis. So now let's move on to example two. 
Example two says that we have triangle ABC is reflected over the Y axis. Okay. It says draw the triangle for A prime, B prime, and C prime. Same thing. So we're since we're reflecting over the Y axis this time, we're going to take and make the Y axis stand out. So we're just going to highlight or whatever we got, um, make it darker. Um, and now we have to count the distance from every point to my Y axis. Okay. So let's do that. So if I look at A, A is one unit away from my Y axis. So on the opposite side, I'm going to graph one unit away from my line of reflection, and that's going to give me A prime. B, if we look at B, B is three units away. So on the opposite side of my line of reflection, I'm going to count three units away. And that's going to be my new point for B prime. And the last point we have is C. So we count how far C is away from my line of reflection, which is four units. So on the opposite side, we'll count four units away. And we'll put our point for C prime. All right, so let's connect our points and then we'll get our order pairs. Okay, so A started at, like we had before, was at one negative three. And then it became A prime, and A prime is at negative one, negative three. Point B was at three zero. And once it was reflected over y-axis, it became negative 3, 0. And point C started out at 4, negative 2. When it reflected over the y-axis, it became negative 4, negative 2. So the same concept. Let's look at the trend and what happened. We started out with positive 1, negative 3, and ended up with negative 1, negative 3. We started out with positive 3, 0, and ended with negative 3, 0. And the last one, we had positive 4, negative 2, and then ended with negative 4, negative 2. So if we look at what happened in this one, what we should notice is that this time, because we're reflecting over the x-axis, I mean the y-axis, excuse me, the x changed and the y stayed the same. So when you reflect over the y-axis, we change the sign, you change the sign of the X and you keep the Y. Okay, so reflect over the Y axis gives you a change for your X value, the sign of it, and you keep the Y the same. Add that notation. Okay. Let's move on to example three. So in example three, they wanted us to draw the coordinates for triangle JKL, which you see has already been drawn. Now, it says now we got to find out what is going to be J prime, K prime, and L prime after it was reflected over, we're going to say the X axis. So that's key. We're reflecting over the X axis. Since we're reflecting over the X axis, let's make the X axis stand out. So we're going to highlight over it. Okay, by me highlighting over my x-axis, we got to count the distance between the point to my line of reflection. So we're going to start with point J. Point J is going to be one, two units away. So on the opposite side, I count two units away. And that's going to give me my new J prime. So if we look at J prime, the new J prime is going to be at zero, negative two. All right, let's look at K. Count the distance from K to my line of reflection. It's four units away. So that means on the opposite side of my line of reflection, I count four blocks or four units away. And that's going to give me my new K prime, which puts it at an order pair of positive three, negative four. And then the last one that we have to do 
is going to be L. L is one unit away. So on the opposite side, we're going to go one unit away. And that's going to put our point here at 5, negative 1. So that's how you actually complete a reflection. You're counting the distance between the point where it started to the line of reflection, and then you do the exact same thing on the opposite side to find out what your new point was. So let me connect to make sure that my image looks similar to what it started out with before we move to the next example. And it does. All right, example four. All right, so they wanted us to draw the triangle ABC, which you already see is drawn. But this time, for example four, it says we're going to be drawing the image of triangle for a triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime after we reflect it over triangle ABC over the X equals negative one. So this time it's not over an axis line. It's actually going to be over a line that is not your axis, which is X is negative one. Okay, so we got to find, we got to go to X, which is our X axis and find negative one on X axis and put a dot. What we're going to do is take and draw a line through that dot. Now, when we draw that line through that dot, that is going to be our line of reflection, okay? So that is what we're actually going to be reflecting over. So we got to count the distance from every point to that line that we're going to be reflecting over and get our new answer. Okay, so point A is one unit away. So on the opposite side, it needs to be one unit away. And that's going to put point A being at negative 2, positive 1. Point B is 1, 2, 3, 4 units away. So on the opposite side, we're going to be 4 units away. And we'll get our order pair for that one. And that one being at negative 5, positive 4. And then the last point that we had was point C. And that's six units away. So on the opposite side, we count six away. And put a dot. And that's going to put that at negative seven, positive one. Now with all our points graphed, we'll connect. We should notice that we have an image that is similar, but a reflection of that. And then let me label what they are. This is B prime. This over here is C prime. And this is A prime. All right, so that's what happens when we reflect over a line that is not an axis line. It's the same concept, but the points are not a mirror image of each other like it is for the X and Y axis. It's actually going to be a little off, but if you count to your line of reflection, then you do the same thing on the opposite side, you'll get the right answer every time. And let's look at this example. It says, example five, it says, draw triangle ABC, which has the coordinates already been plotted for us. It says, we're going to draw the triangle for A prime, B prime, and C prime after it reflects over the y equals negative 2. All right, so for us to do that, we're going to go to the y-axis. We know the y-axis go up and down. We're going to find negative 2 and put a dot. Once we put that dot, we're going to take a line and go straight through that dot. Okay, once that happens, we count the distance from every point to our line of reflection, which is now y equals negative 2. So I'm going to start with point A. Point A is going to be one, two, three away from my line of reflection. So on the opposite side, I count three away and put a dot. That's going to put point A prime at zero, negative five. 
And we look at the next one, we'll do C because it's close. C is going to be one, two, three units away. So on the opposite side, I count three down. And that's going to put C prime being at five, negative five. And then the last point is point B. Point B is one, two, three, four, five, six away. So on the opposite side, we count six down. And then we'll put our dot. And B prime is going to be at positive three, negative eight. And we're going to connect our points. All right. So that's how you reflect over lines that are not your X or Y axis. So we're going to move on to our next example. And within this example, this one is asking us to actually find the line of reflection. They didn't give it to us. We got to find it. So since we got to find it and we already know from previous examples that in order for a reflection to happen, it has to be an equal distance on each side. What we do in order to find the actual line of reflection is that we take one point from each figure, one from the original, one from the pre-image and one from the image. And we count the distance between those two points and cut it in half. So like here, if I pick point K, point K, if I count the blocks in between point K to K prime, we got one, two blocks in between. So if I got two blocks in between and I take and cut it in half, I will draw a line down the middle of that. And that will be my line of reflection. So like if I go down the middle of those two points with a straight line, that means my line of reflection is going to be my y-axis. Because that's where the middle of, and I got equal distance on both sides for K, which is one unit on each side, so that's an equal distance. All right, so that's how we find the actual line of reflection when we have two figures already graphed. All right, so let's look at the last one. So same concept. I pick one point from each figure. It has to match. Like if I pick A, I got to pick A prime. If I pick C, I got to pick C prime. And when I do that, I count the distance between those two figures. So like if I pick A, we're going to count one, two, three, that's four units between A and A prime. Now, if I take four and cut it in half, they have, they should have two on each side. So because it should have two on each side, I'm going to cut it down the middle. Now, once I cut it down the middle, I should notice that it's not on the x-axis, but it actually went through negative one. So just like we had before, I can put a dot on negative one. And because that dot that I put, which is on negative one, and that's on my y line or my y axis. So this one actually went through y equals negative one. All right. So those are all the examples that we have for how to reflect an image on a coordinate plane. Um, we're going to practice more of these in class. So if you have questions, please have them ready to be answered.